और आपको सीधे लिए चलते हैं नई दिल्ली के नॉर्थ ब्लॉक जहां इस वक्त केंद्रीय वित्त मंत्री अरुण जेटली प्रेस को संबोधित कर रहे हैं with regard to the manner of assistance to be provided to the state in its uh, suggestions made by the niti aayog now these are the four basic uh, documents on which it is based now as far as uh, the andhra pradesh reorganization act is concerned the government has decided in principle and we have repeatedly said so that every commitment made in the act in letter and spirit is to be honored by the central government already we have released uh, on account a sum of rupees 3975.5 crores towards revenue deficit of the year 2014-15 this is only part of the amount the balance amount also would be released in installments we have already given 2 and a half thousand crores uh, as support for the state capital a further amount of 1050 has been given for backward area grants there is a whole list of several institutions central institutions which had to be established in andhra pradesh one by one each one of the institutions uh, has either started functioning or will start function and we stand committed to that the polavaram project that is the irrigation part of the project has been declared a national project and therefore uh, as on 1 4 from which date it becomes uh, the national project the funding from that date onwards is going to be met by the central government now what is the process of funding will be decided one process is that nabard would fund it and we'll return the loan back to nabard the, the future after 1 4 will be 100% because that is the date on which it becomes a national project we have further decided that on behalf of the central government we will authorize the state government to do the construction part because the state has an interest in the project now this is a very major announcement because uh, polavaram was one of the issues which was concerned with the act itself and uh, from the date when it is declared a national project its entire funding would be as of 1 4 whatever is the funding fix will be met by the central government what will be the estimated cost well that that you see keep uh, mm-hmm. there are there are various mm-hmm. calculations we are more on the principles i'm not uh, there is a whole list of institutions which have already started and some which have to start assessments will be made with regard to them uh then comes the 14th finance commission which has uh, also made some uh, recommendations with regard to the revenue deficit now that is with regard to revenue deficit from 2015 till 2020 that is being revenue deficit for the first two years it's being paid up to date so whatever is the identified revenue deficit is being paid and of course the 42% share is also being paid there were two tax concessions which we have announced one with regard to accelerated uh, depreciation and one with regard to the investment allowance and the cbdt chairperson is here the relevant notifications with regard to them are going to be issued forthwith then comes the 
issue with regard to the statement made by Dr. Manmohan Singh, who on uh, 20th of February 2014 had made a statement after Venkayaji and I had uh, raised this issue in uh, the Rajya Sabha, and that was in six parts. Now, five of those are really clarifications which are covered uh, by the Act itself. There is no dispute which are going to be implemented. <coughs> With regard to the sixth, a legitimate dispute or an issue had arisen. Because after the statement came the report of the 14th Finance Commission, which said that only special dispensation for hill states and northeast states and all others are to be compensated only by way of uh, the additional revenue grant if there is a shortfall and by the horizontal uh, sharing of 42 percent so 42 plus revenue deficit will take care of it that's what the finance commission said and we are only saying special uh, uh, provision only with regard to northeast and the hill states. Now there was an understandable aspiration of the people of Andhra Pradesh that uh, on the understanding that a certain special category would be given to us, we agreed to this and subsequently the 14th Finance Commission has come which has said that nobody gets special category that ceases to exist. We have quoted in our note uh, the relevant observations of the 14th Finance Commission. Now, without getting further into the issue, we examined this. And since the advantage of what uh, they get by virtue of uh, the former Prime Minister's statement is a monetary advantage that you get because of the status, that you get a particular... Uh, 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 the centre has to bear a higher share in the schemes of the state, we have decided to give a special assistance measure for the state of Andhra Pradesh wherein an amount equivalent to what they would have got if that statement could have been implemented will be compensated to the state by virtue of externally aided program projects that all projects which come into Andhra Pradesh which are externally aided, which otherwise the state would have paid for, the, the word we used is an equivalent advantage to the state which they would have got because if that statement could have been implemented, we will give them an exact equivalent advantage through the externally aided projects so that in spirit at least we are able to honour the substance of that statement of 20th February also, even though, as per the Finance Commission's report, those category of states now ceases to exist. This is what we have decided, and of course, this will also be in terms of what the fourth, that is the recommendations which have been made by the Niti Aayog, uh, which has concerned itself with regard to specific calculations, etc. Now, since it is quite late, uh, and we have worked out this arrangement, uh, we will uh, uh, be loading tomorrow morning a detailed note giving details of all this uh, on the website. Now, this will be subject to, of course, uh, its ratification wherever required by the central cabinet itself, because that's a procedural formality which we have to follow. No, this goes on for a period of five years. Because you see that uh, special category was to be for a period of five years, that is the life of the 14th Finance Commission. But you denied it for 10 years. Well, that's all right, because it, it was made for five years, so we'll give an equivalent for five years. And then there are several other issues, uh, uh, some of which, which are under examination, the concerned ministries, the railway zone issue, uh, 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 the steel plant issue, the home ministries, uh, decision with regard to the delimitation of constituencies, those changes which are to be made. There are several other issues which are under consideration. So I think for today, what I have announced is enough. These are all matters being considered uh, at, by different ministries, which will take uh, a specific view in the matter. No, tax incentives which we have given 
already the notification with regard to that uh, will be issued immediately by the CBDT. Will there be any point for the taxes? Well, let us now see what happens to the post GST regime. Uh, the Commerce Ministry is seized of the issue in relation to the uh, Chennai Bangalore Industrial Corridor itself. Uh, uh, and uh, the Vizak Chennai corridor, uh, that matter is at a fairly advanced stage of the consideration. Now, these are all issues when we take a decision with regard to this, each one of these ministries would then be specifically briefing you on this. That is already under the Act, which we have given already partly. Two and a half thousand crores is gone. More will, uh, whatever else is due will uh, uh, come as per the calculations. That Niti Aayog uh, makes the calculations. And the DPS. How much is you see, there, there are calculation issues involved in this uh, because the revenue deficit is based on the routine normal expenditure and not any additional or special expenditure incurred. So there is a formula that they have which the Department of Expenditure, uh, the Niti Aayog and the State of Andhra Pradesh calculate amongst themselves. I am not getting into the location, that's your uh, internal issue. It's a matter which Mr. Suresh Prabhu will consider and uh, take an appropriate decision. So, sir, what about the major demand made by the, both the state, they are increasing the number of assembly? That's a matter which the Home Ministry is seized off. Yes, sir, this actual EAP amount will be, will be repay the central government or they have to... No, that central government has to repay. This, this is there is a formulation just as central schemes uh, used to be funded 90-10, similarly, whatever is the quantum of amount which gets changed will be uh, uh, paid uh, uh, by the central government as far as the external area the program is. So that, that has to be paid by the central government in the, in, in, in the there's, a, there's a set formulation in the ratio in which the EAPs are to be repaid back. So, so the EAPs are repaid back in the ratio of 90-10 or 80-20. That's that's the normal uh, procedure under which they are. So, the special assessment major will continue in 2020. From 2015 to 2020, five years. That because Prime Minister then Dr. Manmohan Singh had said for five years, so we are doing it for five years. Have you put any major maximum limit for the EAPs? No, the amount which central government will bear will be. Uh, uh, equivalent to what they would have got otherwise. Uh, if over and above that they have any EAP projects, they can take their own. In the routine, they can have their own EAP projects. So friends, we can have other questions or anything tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be addressing the press, but I have to make only one comment. The Andhra Pradesh will be considered as a special state, and all the support is being extended from center. And so far, number of projects have been already sanctioned, institutions have been sanctioned, they are functioning. What is remaining is tribal, central, one uh, central university and one Karapa uh, steel plant. They are already, the teams have gone and they have given report. And then on that also we have put a, a task force. The last point I want to tell you is, very clearly, this has to be a continuous process. Andhra needs hand-holding by Santa. In view of the disadvantage it has got because of the way the state is bifurcated. Keeping that in mind, center will extend a helping hand to the state of Andhra Pradesh. He nirantaramu, Andhra Pradesh to Sahayamu, nirantaramu, konsagavasana prakriya. Megata Rashtra to Samana Stai Cherian Tavarku, Andhra Pradesh to Kendram Prateka Sahayam, and this Pune Untundi, Okati. Rundavadi, Yevate Perkonam, Chatamro, what in Ekuba, we put K. Abal Jesam. Megata Vatu, Amal Jastam, Tucha Tapunda, Mudavadi, a Chatam of Perkuna language, Yetondo, feasibility study will be, whoever has drafted the law, this mentioned feasibility. So feasibility report, which is the one, the Ramada action is put on the Ruth on the, the under Rash on the 13th schedule, 10 years from the Sanstrani Batarani, the Anakana Mundugane, Chatam of Japan, the Anakana Mundugane, Sanstrani, airport Jedu. But the ADG is saying it is for the five years. 
तो अभी आप ये सीधी तस्वीर देख रहे थे नई दिल्ली के नॉर्थ ब्लॉक से जहां सरकार एक बार फिर से इस बात को दोहराई कि आंध्र प्रदेश के विकास के लिए जो भी हर संभव सहायता केंद्र सरकार देगी ताकि आंध्र प्रदेश का विकास हो सके और खासकर जो पोलावरम प्रोजेक्ट की बात उन्होंने कही वित्त मंत्री अरुण जेटली ने कि वो एक नेशनल प्रोजेक्ट है और उसके लिए जो भी पैसा की पैसे की जरूरत होगी वो उसमें केंद्र सरकार जरूर राज्य सरकार को देगी तो इस खास 